Hey there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci. Obviously, we're buzzing about getting ready for the big eclipse on Monday, April 8th, but I want to talk about something you may have never heard about before, the sun's atmosphere, a.k.a. the corona. When the moon blocks the sun on Monday, April 8th, day will turn to night. The sky will transform from bright blue to a deep twilight azure. A subtle sunrise hue will envelop the horizon. But the most spectacular show will be overhead. Because when the moon intercedes between the Earth and the sun, we'll see the sun's corona, or atmosphere. For seconds on the minute, the moon will extinguish the sun's visible light. No direct sunshine, no ultraviolet rays, and for a few moments, we'll be able to see the corona. The corona is unlike anything you've ever seen before, and odds are, you'll never see anything quite like it again. It doesn't exactly look real. Solar plasma, superheated to two million degrees, glows faintly in the dark like the hairs of an angel. It's contorted by the sun's magnetic field. All those hair-like wisps you see are magnetic field lines. Coronal plasma wraps around them, illustrating a structure that's ordinarily invisible to us. We literally get to see magnetism. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. And click on that notification bell. That way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. And no two coronas are exactly the same. The sun's magnetic structure is constantly changing, so that means the corona is too. A company called Predictive Science uses magnetic modeling to simulate what the corona might look like. Here was their guess in 2017, and here's what the corona actually looked like. They nailed it again in 2019. Here was their prediction, and here's what it looked like. This was actually my photo of the same eclipse from Chile. This time, the corona is expected to be very dynamic. That's because the sun is at the peak of its 11-year solar cycle. That means more sunspots, from which magnetism pours into space. Some of that magnetic flux reconnects in dramatic loops. You might be able to spot them with the naked eye, during totality, of course. Perhaps the most exciting part is that we won't actually know what the corona looks like until the eclipse actually happens. So we'll all get to be dazzled by it together. So when totality hits, take advantage and try to see every moment. I've seen two Coronas before. Everyone's different, everyone's special. It's enough to bring tears to your eyes, I promise. Simply stated, there's nothing in this life that compares to seeing the solar Corona. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.